Hello there. My name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. If you are a middle school math teacher looking for ideas or just simply what to do your first week of your middle school math class, we are going to jump right in to sharing my first week plans of middle school math class. So let's jump right in. If you have a full week of school ahead of you for your first week, I have some really fun and awesome ideas for you um, to put in place for your first week of school. The first two days of school, I really don't like teaching. Uh, yeah, I, I said, it. I don't like to teach. What I like to do is actually really spend those first two days getting to know my students. And I'm going to share with you, if you would like to grab a totally free back to school um, first day or first week bundle of activities, you can click the link right below this video and you can grab it right now. Um, this bundle includes a few several activities, a student questionnaire to better get to know your students. And again, just three to four fun activities for you to use for the first day of school. I'm going to show you my exact back to school plans for the first week so you can see this nicely laid out. So you can see here the first two days, I really just go over my syllabus. I play a few games, get to know you activities, and I do like to have my students do some math, but nothing that is like direct instruction. So one of the activities I love to use is this e brain teaser activity from Sarah Carter of the math equals love blog. She is amazing, and this is the exact, um, you can click on the link to see the exact activity. It is super, super fun. On days three and four, this is when I will jump into direct instruction. And I always get, I always start off with orders of operation because um, it really leads into what I'm doing on the last day of the week. And I'm just going to show you exactly what my materials look like. So my orders of operation notes look like this. I use, you know, my PowerPoint notes. And then my students will do some practice problems. And I don't have them do everything, but we will go over it together as a class. And then on day four, we might do a fun set of task cards. Um, we might do a fun maze activity, or we might even do a fun digital maze or a fun mystery puzzle activity. And then finally, on the very last day, we will end it with Joe Bowler's four fours activity. Um, I would highly suggest that you Google Joe Bowler four fours. Um, the way that it works is you, your students will use four fours and they will try to come up with the answers one through 20. So I laid it out here in this template. So you can see here, I one way to get the answer one is I could do four plus four divided by four plus four, and that will get me a one. Another easy one is how do you get 16? I could just add up four fours. There is an answer to every single one of these. And what I love about this is that your students can do this over and over again, because there are multiple ways of getting each of these answers. So once, so even if your students fill this whole thing out and they're like, I'm done, they can always come back to it at any point to continue building those math skills. And it's just a really fun brain teaser. So that is my plan for the very first week of school. Um, and the and again, so the four fours really lends itself to orders of operation, which is why I generally start with that. Um, but nothing says that you have to, especially if you teach some higher level math classes. One thing that I'm going to leave you with is I just want to share one thing not to do on your first day of school. Please do not ask your students. Um, you know, what did you do this summer? I know it sounds like a super harmless question, but there are so many students who really feel embarrassed by this question, me included as a kid, because, you know, so many of our students don't have the ability to go on fun trips. Many of our students have to stay home, take care of younger brothers and sisters, or just simply, again, don't have the funds to really go anywhere. So one thing that 
um, you can do instead, or maybe different ways you can ask the question is, what is one thing you learned this summer? Or is there anything from the summer that you would like to share? Just some ideas of reframing the question so students don't necessarily have to feel like they're dreading being asked, what did you do this summer? Again, if you would like access to this free back to school bundle, you can click the link below this video um, and you can grab it so you are ready to go your very first day or your very first week of teaching middle school math. Again, my name is Kathy Martin and I will see you next time. Bye for now.